everybody. My name is Jessie and I do perfume reviews in ASMR formats. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I am doing a list of my aquatic perfumes that I have. So if you like aquatic perfumes and if you like ASMR, you are in a good place for our video today. So yeah, I just pulled a range of aquatic fragrances that I own. Most of these I own. Some of them I am in the process of reselling. I'll try and let you know which ones those are and why I'm not keeping them. And then also I have some samples that I will go over as well. Um, all of these samples are, yeah, just samples and some of them are not ones I'd necessarily buy full bottles of, but they are aquatic fragrances, so I thought I would mention them. Oh, and first things first, as always, I tried to dress on theme, and I just feel like I hit the nail on the head with this one because not only is this like a very fresh aquatic blue, but also it's made out of, this dress is made out of towel material. Towel material, which doesn't that just make you think of water? So I found this at Goodwill, and I was so excited. Like, I, I was like, oh my is this like too tacky or something to wear but it's so comfortable I love it absolutely love it and then lastly I've got these fun um earrings that are shoot I don't know the stone but I bought the stones and then I wrapped them and I added these little tiny pearls so I made these ones myself actually so these were fun a note of lotus which gives it a very 
So it's like a 
water is what that would mean in French and 
another one of those kind of like slightly sharp, almost laundry-esque fresh scents. Um, it has Lily of the Valley, so if you don't like Lily of the Valley, don't go here, but I like Lily of the Valley-ish. Just can't be like super prominent. I wouldn't buy a full bottle of this myself, but yeah, it's kind of like fresh white floral laundry-ish. It's also got some green notes and also a note of dewdrop. 
summer 